earliest memory I have, I don't think I was able to write. And it was a story I wanted to make up about a witch whose house was surrounded by grass. And whether the witch had a very small house or whether the grass was just very tall, I don't know. But that was the whole story, a beginning. One part that I loved writing was about Joan's visit to the opera because I remember my first visit to the opera and I had all those, oh, if I don't like it, will that mean that I'm a, an uncultured person and am I going to be bored for four hours? And the curtain went up and I knew this was for me. I asked a friend this question and he said, this is a book for a 60-year-old bald man who likes riding his bicycle because he liked it very much. Uh, I also had a very bright 14-year-old who loved the book. I think books find their audiences. I'm not going to limit. Someone will find this book. Someone will read this book. I'm sorry, I'm just not going to limit my audience. I think it's the kiss of death. <laughs> When I was a child, I read Frances Hodgson Burnett's A Little Princess, which I loved and still love. And I think it's a book about how children survive. And I think it particularly spoke to me because Sarah survives through her imagination and she survives by telling stories. And young as I was, I think I was in third grade when I first read what happened to, at Miss Minchin's or Sarah Crew, and then I picked up the longer version. Um, that struck a chord immediately. One that sticks with me, and I heard about it fourth hand, kind of. Um, there's, there was a child who wanted very much to be an actress, and she had leukemia and because her immune system was depressed she couldn't go to school and she was spending a lot of time in the hospital and she learned the monologues from good masters sweet ladies and performed them for the nurses and i will never forget that i think the more you know about history the more you want to say god bless america and God bless the 21st century. Uh, I don't, I can't think of a single period which I would prefer to the way we live now. I, I think medieval Russia sounds like fun before the, the Mongols invaded because they didn't have any, um, they didn't have any torture or mutilation. Uh, and most people were literate and, uh, you know, you were supposed to be kind of free. It sounds like a nicer medieval society. But um, I think the more I learned about it, the more I'd learn I wouldn't want to live there either. <laughs> <laughs>